Greetings, and welcome to the new U.S. Nuclear Teleconference. It is now my pleasure to introduce your host, Robert Goldstein. Thank you, Mr. Goldstein. You may begin. Hi, I'm Bob Goldstein, the CEO of U.S. Nuclear Corp. Hopefully many of you have heard, heard of me, heard of us from our, uh, from our previous presentations. The, uh, I want, here's, a, here's a picture. And so, so I've been interested in physics and science and, and making things all my life. And I was lucky enough to, you know, go to MIT and Stanford, get degrees in physics and, and engineering. And so I'm very pleased to be leading this company and as it grows and, uh, and develops new products. Uh, we have an uh, excellent uh, staff with uh, scientists, engineers, uh, mechanics, and assemblers, and testing de metrology department as well. Our, we, uh, <clears throat> U.S. Nuclear is, is uh, technically a holding company. We have uh, three subsidiaries, soon to be four, uh, technical associates in Los Angeles, Overhoff, technology in Cincinnati and electronic concepts in Cincinnati as well. Uh, Overhoff specializes in making tritium monitors, which are uh, very difficult to make, They're, it, but it's important. tritium is a very important substance to use for medical drug development and also uh, a, a byproduct from nuclear power. Electronic control concepts makes uh, systems that uh, tune up the X-ray machine before the doctor takes your uh, gives you an X-ray. Uh, the um, technical associates is a, uh, a one-stop one shopping center for everything uh, radiation and chemical as far as measurements go. And um, I'll be in a <clears throat> in a press release later. I'll be giving the name and information on the fourth uh, company. So in addition to our subsidiaries, we have um, uh, four strategic alliances that are very important to us. These are people, uh, these are other companies that are related and they help us leverage our products and our, our operations, uh, NukeSafe, is in the same space we are. They make uh, radiation measurement instruments and other uh, devices. They have a, uh, more than an acre of, of uh, manufacturing space under one roof, and that's bigger than we are, and it allows us to make uh, fill government contracts that have large volumes, which otherwise we might be uh, kept out of those uh, bid situations. Graphiton. Is a, is a new uh, partner of ours. We've recently bought 40% of their stock. They're a startup in San Diego. They make uh, electrodes that go in the brain and, and uh, service certain uh, diseases, and, uh, uh, including uh, epilepsy and, and, uh, and, and Alzheimer's disease, very important new science. You may know that uh, Elon Musk has a company called Neuralink that is in the same uh, space as, as we are. Uh, so one of the good things about uh, U.S. Nuclear Corp. is that we serve multiple markets, a number of different industries. So, uh, you know, if one industry is, if the steel industry is having a big problem now, uh, then we have, or whichever, uh, we have many different industries that we uh, sell into, so it, it doesn't make us totally immune to uh, to recessions, but it makes us uh, it, it helps a tremendous amount. So the uh, um, and I'll be talking about them in just a second. So um, the, uh, here's six of the 
the important uh, industries that we serve. We're the ones that look at the water that you drink to see if it's radioactive or not. The big water utilities, um, they have, of course, equipment to, to measure, you know, what, turbidity, see if it's, the water's clear, see if it's got uh, too much uh, chlorine in it or not. But, uh, but without us, they don't have the ability to measure for radioactivity in the, in the water. They do take samples once a year. But I know as, a, as a, a person that drinks water out of the tap that uh, uh, I want to know that the water is being tested continuously, and that's what we do. We, our monitors are all real-time uh, monitors with alarms so that if anything's wrong, if the levels are too high, uh, we'll tell them and they can turn off the, uh, the water supply from the contaminated system and continue to deliver uh, clean non-radioactive drinking water to you. The, in the medical industry, we have quite a few things going. We sell, into, obviously, into the radiology department, the imaging department, where the uh, doctors uh, take the pictures to figure out what's going on inside so they don't have to do uh, experimental surgery to find out what kind of uh, uh, fix you need. The, one of the reasons that American medical care is so good is the diagnosis and the way the doctors, our diagnoses are better than in other countries and therefore the treatment is spot on. And a, lot, a big part of that is the medical and the imaging and we're a big player in that field. Also in mining, the anytime you extract anything from the ground, oil or minerals, you get other stuff that you didn't want. A lot of that's radioactive radon or uh, can be a uranium or other radioactive materials. Obviously, we serp service nuclear power plants. This is a very, uh, it's a good industry because, you know, you can only supply this industry if you make the very best material, very best instruments, which we do. And so we're proud to be a supplier. We also supply to various laboratories in universities and in hospitals around the world. Uh, here's a list of some of the monitors we make. Um, so I want to say that here's a customer list. The first column you'll see is nuclear power plants uh, in China, Romania, Korea, Argentina, and Sweden. Uh, then the second list is uh, the power plants that we service in uh, U.S. and Canada. By service, I mean we provide them with radiation measurement equipment to look at their uh, a smokestack to see if they're polluting the area, to look at the uh, liquid effluent and rainwater runoff from their plants to make sure it's not radioactive and to, to help them uh, uh, make their operation go properly so they don't screw up and have a China syndrome moment. Um, the, we also uh, sell to Shanghai Institute of Applied Physics, MIT, University of Wisconsin, uh, uh, AECL, the Chalk River Laboratory, many other places around the world. The, um, our, our sales are international. We're about 50% domestic and 50% overseas, which we're very proud of because, you know, if you're not, if you're not selling domestically, you're only selling overseas, then that's, uh, that's scary, and if you're selling domestic but, but not overseas, then maybe your product is, is sort of good but not very good, but we're known world round for our product quality, and, uh, and a lot of our customers are U.S. government-based, and so in, especially in the recession that we're heading into now with the COVID-19, the, uh, the federal government is still going to be spending on defense and, and power and uh, our armed services and national laboratories. So we're in pretty good shape on that. We, we sell, as I mentioned, to the national laboratories. Originally, uh, in, the, in the Manhattan Project era, there were four secret labs, you know, Los Alamos, uh, Savannah River, and uh, uh, 
et cetera. Now there's 17 national labs. They all do development work. They buy they buy equipment from us because we they know we're top quality. The guys at the national labs they're really the smartest scientists in the in the country, and we're very proud to be servicing them. The uh, here's another uh, picture of the national labs. In addition to the fact that there's 17 labs, some of them have satellite facilities also. That's why you see so many spots on the graph. I'd like to use the term blue ocean products. That's uh, what I use to, to represent the fact that a lot of the products we make, there's no competition at all or very little competition. In many of these areas, we're known worldwide as being the only or the best supplier. And so uh, just list them for you quickly here. We make drones and submarines that sniff out hazards, uh, bad air, bad chemicals, uh, and even biological hazards. Uh, the, uh, as far as I know, we're the only people that do all of that. The uh, radon is a, uh, a gas. You can't see it, but it's the second largest cause of cancer in the world, and so we have a, uh, important products in that field. Protect the clean air that you drink. We already talked about drinking water for a minute. And uh, uh, so tritium is important because it's used in developing new pharmaceuticals, new drugs. We all reading about the new drugs that people are trying to develop. Some of them will be tagged with radioactive tritium in order to make sure that the, uh, that the drug is going to the right part of the body to do its job, and so it's a tracer, and it lets the the design drug designer do his job and and test what he's doing. Be, this is done before clinical trials, of course, to make sure that he's not endangering people uh, until he's in, you know until he's really ready to to get his product into into clinical trials. So. The, um, we don't have the job yet, but we're bidding on a job to protect uh, America's nuclear assets. Uh, that includes uh, 400 uh, uh, missile silos, so if we get that, you'll see it in our press releases. Uh, we participate in, in uh, you know, Army and police and fire rescue training. Uh, uh, projects you've probably seen them where uh, they have uh, you know bodies with uh, fake blood on them and they're uh, hire actors to scream and yell and and uh, so we do the part where they're looking for dirty bombs that have exploded. You can see in this case they've got an exploded car and uh, with a radioactivity in it. Normally the the firemen have to suit up to. Uh, to go and f try to find where the where the uh, shrapnel radioactive shrapnel is out of after a dirty bomb, we fly with our uh, drone over the site, so they don't have the uh, the firemen don't have to get uh, uh, spend that time and and put them their own selves in danger getting next to those radioactive sources or breathing the radioactive uh, dust or or uh, plume. The radioactive smoke, so uh, it's a very important product. Here's the, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, Goldman Sachs had a, uh, uh, a report on the future of drones, and they show that they see the market growing to $100 billion. We took their, it was a very detailed report, we took their report and, and uh, pulled out those industries where we have uh, where we can help because we're the ones putting more sensors on there. If you just put a camera on your drone, of course, then that's good for tourists and taking pictures. It's a lot of fun. It gives the police and the military some information, but you really need uh, they really need the forensic information, whether there's radio radiation in the air, whether there's dangerous chemicals in the air, whether there's uh, microbes 
in the air or in the water. We're the ones that are measuring for that. Uh, here's some slides on radon. You can tell, you know, where is there radon danger? Well, everywhere that there's land, land mass, there's radon in the air. Second biggest cause of lung cancer. Uh, we can help with that. This is our system here on the, the box on the side, on the right side. When there's radon in the air, that has a switch in it. It turns on the fans, the air conditioning, opens the louvers so that you're your uh, hotel or 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 your industrial building can be uh, can <clears throat> uh, do the mitigation. Luckily, the fix for radon is good ventilation and blowing clean air in to replace the dirty air. In a city situation like you see here, the uh, many of these buildings they have uh, in order to save energy, they, they're sort of wrapped inside that traps the radon. And it means that the radon's dangerous, not just on the first few floors, like in most buildings, but all the way up. And so people in there could get lung cancer. And as a business owner, I owe it to my clients and my customers not to give them a dose of radioactive radon in their lungs while they're in my plant. And so I, uh, I think you probably feel the same way. And uh, our RAND fan product can help with that. Uh, here's a picture of one of our drinking water monitors. These are used in, for desalinization situations and uh, many other locations. Uh, here's some tritium monitors. I already discussed them a little bit. There's, these are portable air monitors and, uh, and standing air monitors that look at the, uh, the, the stuff coming out of the nuclear fusion experiments, out of the nuclear power plants and out of the uh, big drug companies too to make sure that they're not polluting uh, radioactive tritium into the environment. Here's a picture of myself and my staff in our Beijing office. I'm not traveling right now, but when this is over, I'm looking forward to going back. And there's 200 nucle nuclear power plants in uh, promised in China, there's 26 under construction, and uh, so this is an important source of income for us. Uh, so here's some, a physics slide. I don't know if anybody cares, but alphas are not very penetrating, betas more penetrating, x-rays even more, gamma rays are even more penetrating than x-rays, and neutrons are dangerous as well. So physics 101 in two seconds. So here's some of our product, uh, uh, border patrol, patrol products to see if the uh, man on the left has uh, any radioactive materials contamination on his clothing, or maybe he uh, uh, he's carrying a, a source of radiation that he hopes to use in a dirty bomb. This will find it. The, in the middle, you can see a truck going through a radiation sensor. Very important. There's so many. So much volume goes in these shipping containers around the world. You can't see inside. On the right, you can see our scanner. This goes on top of a, of a container that's questionable, you know, a container where they don't know uh, who, the, who the owner is, and, and the TSA needs to check it out. This is, can check it passively before they open the door. And expose their uh, their personnel to uh, toxic gases or radioactive materials. This tells them what's inside, gives them a picture from the outside. So that's uh, my talk. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer them. This is a picture of our uh, octocopter. It has a 20-pound payload and can carry a lot of important sensors. Thank you. This concludes today's webcast. You may disconnect at this time. Thank you for your participation.